simple elements is a really hot look right now. Take a look at this necklace. It's super simple, just a few different easy assembly ways that you put it together. So what you'll do first is choose some beads. And if you're using your birthstones like I did, you can choose from a wide variety. You don't have to use just your official birthstone. You know, you could use other beads that are inspired by the same color. Like you could go with crystals. You can choose some that have variegated color even. Or for June, for example, is pearl, you could also combine some other metallic elements together with it. So you can really make it your own look and completely custom for your style. So what you do to get started is put some beads on an eye pin. And an eye pin just has a loop at the end. You could also use a piece of wire to create your own eye pin, but this makes it really simple to get started. And all I did was string just a few beads onto the pin. And these are a rondelle shape, which I love the way that they look together. And this is, this could stand for January garnet or July, it could be ruby. And then you're just going to make a basic loop here. And I'm just going to trim it a little bit before I bend it into my loop. So I'll just trim to a finger's width and then take my round nose pliers and roll it. And one thing to keep in mind again is just that your loops are facing the same direction, the same plane, so that it hangs nicely in the middle of your necklace. Now when you're using unfinished chain like this, this is chain that comes in long lengths, longer than what you need. So when you're measuring, it's helpful to have a beadboard or lay it next to a measuring tape or something so that you can see how long it's going to be when you cut it. So I have my element ready to go and then I can lay my clasp here and see that it's just about um, eight on each side, so it's about 16 and a half inches. And then I'm going to cut my chain. And again, you just use a cutter here to get rid of that last link and remove it from your, oops, I cut through two. There we go. And then when you attach it, what you can do is just open this with your flat nose or your chain nose pliers. You'll turn your loop open like a jump ring and slide it onto your last link of chain. And this is for the center. And then we'll do the same on the other side. And this is, there we go. Place it onto the end. And then you can cut it right in the center. So I'll pull it here and then measure so that I get to my top link here and I'll cut that one. And if you want to get really perfect, you can count these links. You can also re-measure it against your beadboard. Now I know that my bead link here that I'm going to make is going to take up a little bit of extra space. So I'm just gonna make a loop, wrapped loop here, roll it with my round nose pliers and attach this to the end. And this is what I'm gonna do for a decorative attachment here rather than using a jump ring. If you wanted to, you could also attach another piece of larger link chain so that you could have a, an extension chain here on this end and then you could wear it in varying lengths. And just wrap it the rest of the way with my fingers and trim away my extra end. And then I'll just use a jump ring to attach my clasp to the other side. And it's the same super simple necklace in under five minutes. So it's the same process on this end. Just slide your jump ring through the last link of your chain. Let's see if I can get it here. Here we go. And then close it up with your flat nose or your chain nose pliers. Now you can add another element to your layering necklace if you want to use a connector. Now you can make your own pendant or you could also use a pre-made component like this. And to remove these, you just open the jump ring again with your pliers. And then you can connect this to the center of your chain. And this time I'm going to use a larger chain so that I have my large links. And these are, again, unsoldered chains. So this one I'll just measure on my beadboard. And this one I'm going to make a little bit longer. So the previous piece was 16 and a half. I want to make this one about 18 and a half. So now, this time, I'll show you how we can get our two lengths of chain exactly perfect. So we're gonna to go to our nine inches on both sides and then open the rings here. And this time we'll use our flat nose and chain nose to open the link at the end. And then to find our center, we're going to use the piece of wire 
so that we can have it dangling perfectly. We'll lay our ends out and then put your wire here and then you can see that your ends, oh, I got that one right. So that is gonna be my link that I'll remove. I'll just go ahead and open this one and then I have my two perfect links of chain and I can open those and attach them to each side of my necklace. And then I'll attach my clasp right to the end and then I'll have my finished piece.